Hey guys, uh, welcome to StarCraft 2 uh, Nexus Wars. I'm just pre oh my god, somebody's already lagging. Somebody's lagging up our game. But uh, this is a game where you build auto spawning units, and uh, each building you build increases your income. You get income every 15 seconds. The whole point is to go across this one top lane and bottom lane and take over the other person's base. We'll destroy their little one of these. So. Oh, I guess I can build something else. But uh, the big, the big thing about this game is that you will have one nuke, so that once the opponent's creeps start building up or their units start building up into a big spawn, you can nuke them. But that's really the only thing you have against mass spawning of units that come flying down at you. Because the waves start building on top of each other. I'm going to be going Terran, but you do have a choice of going between Zer and Protoss. You can, you can multi-race, I guess you could call it. But I am going to get the sentries, which have stealth detection, obviously, as it says. And they also block, they have a, like a force field that can block range, or not block, but reduce the damage from range. And that will be helpful because usually people build mass marines right away. They're massive marines, so their massive marines will be countered somewhat by having the sentry out. Kind of have a tank there. Zlock kind of acts like a tank takes the damage for a little while, but as you can see, not the most effective tank in the bunch. So right now we're pretty much even. Looks like bottoms get pushed back a little bit. Minions or uh, waves start piling up on top of each other and they actually start to do quite a bit of damage. But this right here should usually counter marine fire pretty well. Yeah, as you can see, it's starting to do its job. They don't last very long, I mean, it just, it just kind of reduces the damage, doesn't really negate it too much, it just kind of helps. As you can see, their marines are still doing a good job. Then again, they're also spawning pretty much simultaneously, which is another good thing of syncing up your buildings. Like, once I get this fourth one built, I'll show you what I mean. You double click the building that you want and then you hold escape until down here all these are don't have any white in them and then you let go and now all these guys spawn timers will spawn at the same time I'll do the same thing for this one so that they all spawn hopefully pretty simultaneously and as you can see when you go down here it tells you how much in income you get per building it goes it says marines plus two income that's uh, just telling you how much you'll get every 15 minutes. Right now, I think I'm getting about 20. I think you start out with like, oh shit. Yeah, see, they're marine massing right now. Which is gonna hurt. And you also get income for killing enemy units as well. As you can see, like, plus ones will pop off every now and then. See, plus one, plus one, plus one. All those are because I'm killing their units and it's kind of like a bounty. And it looks like I'm gonna have to use my nuke early. That's kind of a waste of a nuke, but it's about the only thing we could do to stop their massive marines from fucking it in my building up. And now we should start getting a heavier push compared to theirs. Their push will start having our guys build up rather than their guys building up. And then they'll nuke back and then their units will 
stuff will start to build up and shit starts to get heavy. But hopefully I can counter a lot of their Marines with fire bats and marauders. More tanky damage to use. It's pretty good we got a lot of sentries rolling with Marines. I wonder, I don't know for sure, but I think our Marines firing out of the force field doesn't really affect their damage. I think it only affects enemy unit damage. Hopefully, anyways. It's normally better to have, like, a bunch of Z-Lots in the force field. As you can see, their units aren't spawning simultaneously which theirs aren't either or uh, ours aren't either but ours are starting to build up because we have a bunch of units if you haven't spawned simultaneously it does a lot better your forces are under attack Damn, they built a wall behind a turret. That's crazy. See, they nuked us so that our push wasn't doing any good. But I think we still have good enough units that we can actually keep them from actually being able to push out now because well, we did that. I think. They're just massing the same unit over and over again and not actually multitasking to counter us. So, and that's where their downfall is going to be. If Build better units than them. Our allies' base is under attack. Your forces are under attack. And bottom is getting raided. They, I don't think they understand the concept of a new. likely not doesn't look like they do but another thing that'll take out mar marine massing is tanks anything like if they were zerg massing tanks would do a good job too it looks like they're finally starting to get oh, kind of starting to get a push out most of their units are just starting to spawn simultaneously looks like we're still being able to help push them i guess Thanks to this guy right here, he has that big swirly storm thing in his face. All those turrets behind there. Oh my god. Your forces are under attack. I can't build here. We could use some help here. Now they're starting to push back, that's not good. You also can use your worker to attack. It usually does more damage too. All of our guys are going single file line. That's not kosher. This game is actually really fun. It's probably one of my most favorite games out of this bunch of tug of war games, I guess, style. I think that's what they're called. Looks like bottom start to do good. Yeah, they're starting to get a build up. But then once they get new, could change the tides. Looks like we're still holding our own pretty fairly well. Oh, my fire bat. You fucking retard. Do your job, son. Do work. Do work. You're not doing work. Another bad thing about these kind of games, though, since they're CPU operated, they don't priority prioritize targets. And that's kind of the downfall of a lot of these tug of war games. Allow for prioritization, I guess. Some some games do. Can't say they all do. But Your as for right now, I don't really see a whole lot of prior prioritization. Gotcha. Get a tank up so we can have some longer range. Nuclear launch detected.
on top that's no fair I don't know well butter my biscuit we shall counter we need to counter gang we have no gang no, no, no. That's okay, they're building turrets, so they're gonna end up. They'll stall for a while, but then pretty soon those turrets will become useless. Pretty much just wasted resources if they can't capitalize off the time they're getting from it. If they just keep building turrets, they're just gonna keep wasting their money, as far as I'm concerned. Because we're still pushing them hard enough that they can't push out of their base. Once they're able to start pushing out of their base, then it'll be. It'll get more interesting. Until they push out though, those turrets are pretty much just to buy them time. But if that doesn't work, pretty soon the bottom will be able to overrun them once they're all focusing top. There was three workers on those turrets here a minute ago. That these guys actually might do better than what I got out right now. Pretty much one shot infantry. And they stay at a longer range, so maybe they can hit the turret without having trouble. Looks like bottom's doing pretty well though. Bottom's actually starting to ooh, they got this. Bottom's actually starting to push into them thanks to those bandings. Bandings help take out a lot of their heavier stuff. I guess what I could do though is also I could build some of these for a break. Ugh. 